Hello, my name is Nancy Knowlton. I'm a scientist emeritus at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History. I've spent all my career studying coral reefs. The pandemic and the resulting shutdowns have drastically changed many aspects of human behavior. And in particular, it's caused us to withdraw into our homes. We are out and about far less than we were before the shutdowns began. Now, I live in rural Maine where large crowds are unusual even under normal circumstances. And I also spend a lot of my time writing. So in some ways, the changes have been much less dramatic for me than they have been for others. But the changes for the ocean have in fact been quite dramatic. We were hearing reports in the news and on social media of animals swimming much close to shore. And with these animals, we're starting to learn that maybe they weren't actually gone altogether, but rather they were just scared of us and in hiding. And learning that has been very positive because it means there is more hope out there, I think, than we realized before. Now, I'm reluctant to call these things silver linings uh, because the tragedies associated with the pandemic have been so enormous that I'm just not comfortable with that language. And I'm also well aware that the changes that we're seeing now are very temporary. People are already anxious uh, to get back to normal and to some extent are getting back to normal. But I do think the pandemic is causing people to rethink how they lived in the past relative to how they might live in the future. This new way of doing business, I think, is going to allow us to think, as the saying goes, how we can rebuild back better. And having made such big changes so quickly gives us the realization that we can make more additional big changes quickly, changes that will be for the good of the planet as well as for ourselves. Getting shoved out of our ruts has opened new paths to a better way of doing things. For example, cities that have shut down streets to cars uh, because of the pandemic are now thinking about making those shutdowns permanent and having those areas car free indefinitely. So although we'll for sure return to normal and the familiar to some extent, in fact, we need that familiarity. We need to return to the familiar, I think, in order to heal from this terrible experience we're undergoing. I think we've also gotten a vivid lesson in how fast people can change if they have to or if they want to. And that is very encouraging with respect to the changes we need to make in the future to make the world a more sustainable place.